I think one of the biggest things about photography that I love would, would have to be access. You know, it gives me access to opportunities and experiences that with any other job I just wouldn't get. shooting now with Vector Power Boats for about three years. They produce an absolutely incredible machine. There is nothing else that looks quite like a Vector. What we think we do better than most people is we utilize uh, automotive styling. We also utilize aerodynamics with these wings that extend out at the stern to help with high speed stability. So we'll shoot on the way out there. We've got to be there at 7.30. Helicopter arrives at 8. We'll load into that. We're going to mount a, a camera to the bow of the uh, 40, if that's okay. Sure. The clouds were coming from the south, so we might get a bit more cloud cover here. That's bad try to find as much blue sky as we can. We might have to chase it. These things will go faster than the clouds. So. Early in the pre-production stages of, of planning this photo shoot, we determined that the most efficient way to do this was to actually have the helicopter meet us halfway through the shoot. So we started the docks, we did our running shots all the way to a place called Rattlesnake Island. One really difficult uh, element for shooting boats is, is communication. Uh, it's extremely hard to communicate over the noise of the boat and the sound of wind and water and everything else, so radios are absolutely imperative. Ciao. One of the big challenges uh, with shooting for Vector is that the boat's sort of optimal planing speed, uh, that, that is the best speed uh, to capture it on plane in the water, is about 50 miles an hour. So that's not an easy thing to do, uh, especially when you're boat-to-boat -boat photography. So th the best solution for that is a helicopter. We needed uh, an ace pilot who could get low and fast while maintaining a, a high level of safety. We chose to use a helicopter for this shoot because these vector power boats are 40 feet long. Uh, it's extremely difficult to be traveling next to one of these things at 50 miles an hour and get a shot that's really stable. So the helicopter is our best shooting platform. It allows us to get up a little bit, see down into the cockpit and into the seating area. Uh, it really shows the, the boat off at, at the best angle. We headed up to the studio and we captured some of our interiors. Shooting boats in a, in a studio can be tricky in itself, but when you've got a 40-foot boat, uh, you need a studio with a pretty substantial amount of space and ceiling height. So we wanted to have everything set against a black backdrop. So wherever there was glass, we put a black duvetine, which is just a black fabric, uh, in behind each of the uh, pieces of glass. And then we use these uh, large soft boxes to illuminate uh, the inside of the boat. One other thing that I really like to do with, with interior shots is to turn all the cockpit lights on and then turn the shutter speed way, way down. Uh, and this allows uh, you know all those little lights to get exposed into the picture. 
One thing I, I just, I love about photography is, you know, you spend weeks or months sometimes preparing for a photo shoot and it goes off without a hitch and you love the results and, and it's everything you wanted it to be and, and there's no sort of greater satisfaction to that and it's addictive. I love it.